What's up everybody, this is KG. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Movo Double Mic. It is a double-sided microphone, front and back. And this is the second product that Movo has sent me to test out and give my opinion on. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So let's open it up. Okay. And this is how it comes out of the box, as so. So the first thing it has is a little instruction booklet on how to use the product, a Movo sticker and some happy or not happy type of card. And this is a cool little carrying case that comes with it. It has the Movo logo on the side of it. And if we open it up here, let's open it up and look inside. So this is what it looks like from the inside. And on the inside it also has the microphone covers. Looks like there's two different types of covers. I'll open those up shortly. So this item right here is a shock mount for the microphone. I believe it's called a Ricote Lear shock mount. And it is to hold your microphone and if there's any shock happening, it absorbs it so it won't make any additional sound on your microphone. And it has like a mount on it, like a cold shoe mount type thing. And we'll test that out shortly as well. And this item right here is the microphone, the double-sided microphone. You can see there's a mic on both sides. It has a plug-in over here that is permanently attached to the microphone. It's not something you can plug in or take out. It's built into the microphone itself. The double-sided mic does have a little bit of weight to it. And if we look over here on the top portion of the mic, you will see there's an F for the front, R for the rear. It has the Movo logo here. And if I bring this a little bit closer, you'll see you have toggles here. So this side here is for the microphone. If you keep it in the middle, both the front and the rear microphone turn on. You can put it F for only front microphone and R for only rear microphone. So depending on how you want to film and record your sound, you can use it accordingly. Okay, so now if we turn it this way a little bit, you can see there's two settings here. Smartphone setting and for a digital camera setting. So you can use this both with digital cameras and with your smartphone. So you can set it to whichever one you want. So once again, from inside this carrying case, these two pieces came out. These are like the furry mic protectors. But also on this side, there's two more. So the first two items here, I put them on my fingers. These are the foam windshields. They're supposed to protect from wind blowing on your microphone so you don't hear the wind. So this is the first kind that came inside the carrying case. And now I'm holding the second set over here. These are the fur windscreens. These came inside the carrying case as well. So you can use the foam one or the fur one depending on your situation. And I'll test it out with these fur ones just to see how well they work. And also just to see how easily they go on and off the microphone as well. So one other thing I noticed about this microphone is it actually has a headphone jack on the side as well. So if this plugs into the headphone jack of your smartphone, then you can still plug in a headphone here and listen without having to remove this microphone from the smartphone. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is mount the microphone to the shock absorber. So let's do that right now. See how easily it goes in or how difficult. And it's a little bit of work, but yeah, there we go. Okay, it snapped in. Just turn it to the angle that you want. And here we go. So this is on the shock mount right now. So if it moves and it shakes around, it shouldn't make noise in the microphone. The microphone should just be able to absorb the shock. Next, let's try to put our furry windscreens on here. So we'll try the front side first. And that slides on pretty easy. Just straighten it out a bit. And then the reverse side over here. Cover it up, slide it on. Nice. Okay, so both of the windscreens are on. The furry ones, it looks kind of funny, but should do the job. But actually I am filming indoor, so I don't really know if I even need this. This is more for outdoor. But if you do go outdoors, you can put these windscreens on. I'll probably take them off because I'm filming indoors um, and I'll test it without them. But if you do go outdoors and you want to prevent wind from coming through into your sound, make sure you pop these ones on or the foam ones. Right here I have a setup of my Movo mini tripod. 
mobile phone holder and my smartphone. And on the top of the mobile phone holder is a cold shoe mount. That's where I'm gonna put the microphone in order to hook it up to the smartphone. And we're gonna test it out on this afterwards. Okay, so here's my microphone, here's my phone, and you can see the top here and the cold shoe mount. And also make sure that wherever the front of your filming is, is where the F goes and the R goes in reverse. So if I'm gonna film in this direction facing me, then I gotta turn this F around to face this direction. So now the F is facing my face and I'm gonna slide it in right here and tighten it up. Okay, so that's the back of the microphone you're looking at right now. And if I turn it up right here, this is the F, this is the rear R. And then we turn this sideways and here's your headphone jack over here. Make sure you plug it into that headphone jack over here and click it in. So that's hooked up now. And make sure your setting over here is to the smartphone. Right now it's actually set to the digital camera, so let me click it up. So it's set to smartphone. And it should work on the smartphone now. Okay, so the microphone is in now, ready to record. This is what it looks like. It's plugged in over here. The microphone's on top. It has the shock absorber right there. So I'm gonna test it out and let's see how well this thing records. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing three different tests on the microphone. The first one is with the front and rear speaker on together. So right now I'm speaking to you from the rear speaker and you're looking at my reflection in a mirror in front of you. So you can see both sides of the action. And then I'm gonna come in the front right now and speak in the front so you can hear that sound as well. Okay, now I'm in the front of the camera here and I'm speaking from the front of the mic. So you should be able to hear me clearly from the front and from the back. Okay, so this is test number two now. I only have the rear microphone on at the moment. So you should only be able to hear me well from the rear side. So when I speak to you from here, you should be hearing me fine. And I'm gonna come in the front and you should not be able to hear me as well as you're hearing me right now. Okay, I'm in the front right now, so the sound should be a little less clear up here because only the microphone in the back should be picking up the sound really well. Okay, this is test number three. I'm on the front of the microphone. Only the front microphone is on right now. The back microphone is off. So when I go to the back, it shouldn't be as clear as right now. Okay, I'm on the back side now, and you should not be able to hear me as well as you did just a few moments ago in the front. And this is the sound test of this microphone in all three different settings. Okay, so I just listened to the audio of everything I just recorded on the three different sound tests. I noticed one thing that the microphone in the back, the rear microphone, picks up the volume a little quieter than the front microphone. So from listening to the sound, I would say the back microphone, you would maybe want to be closer to it, maybe for a narrative purpose. And the person in front of you, if you're interviewing somebody, they could be further away and it would probably even out the sound. Now, if the person in front of you or the object in front of you is really close, they're going to end up sounding louder. The other thing I noticed, even when you do the sound test with just the front microphone, it picks up the sound in the front really good and it also picks up some of the rear sound pretty well because I think it picks up a louder sound. And when I did the rear microphone only, it picked up the rear sound and anything in the front though, it kind of, it, it was kind of soft. It didn't really pick it up that well. So that was my observation for this particular test. So keep that in mind for this microphone. Now, when they're both on together, it picks up the surround sound pretty good. I do like this microphone. It does serve a good purpose. I think if you wanna do something like interviews where you are narrating from behind and someone's answering you in front of your face, then this is a good microphone for that purpose. Also, if you go out and take in nature, for example, maybe you wanna film the river or film birds chirping or something like that and narrate behind the scenes, then you could do that with this microphone. So you could talk and then have the sounds of nature all around you. I think it would work out well with that kind of a purpose in mind. Other than that, you can see it's a good setup. It sits right on top of the phone mount here. And right now it's on my tall tripod, but you can take it on the mini tripod like I had earlier. 
carry it around with you and do vlogging with it. It has a shock absorber. It has a carrying case so you can take it with you when you travel. So it is a very useful microphone depending specifically what kind of purposes you use your microphone for. But it does give you multiple options versus a single mic that only shoots in one direction and picks up sound in one direction. This gives you the option of both front, rear, and together front and rear. So it, it's a really good microphone just for that. And the sound quality from listening to it is really good. It, it comes clear, nice, precise. And right now I am recording with both microphones on at the same time. So that's what you're hearing as I speak at this time. So I hope you enjoyed this review on the Movo double-sided mic. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments for me, please leave them below in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care and we'll see you guys again next time. Peace out.